name is Beardo Cleaver. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing most excellent today. We are back at West Virginia Lumber. Uh, and we're going to do some miscellaneous quests today. We're going to finish off the, the Shelter's Claim Center. And we're going to find out what the key unlocks. So welcome to part 27 of my Fallout 76 Let's Play. Uh, thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Beardo Cleaver. No, not Beardo Cleaver. Sorry, Beardo Nation. Twitch.tv slash Beardo Nation. The link is down below in the description. I heard a noise. Yeah, what's that? What is that? It's like a mole rat, but it's not showing up on the radar. <laughs> oh, it's a frog? Whoa. It's, it's, the, it's that uh, old old uh, nursery rhyme, the three frogs. I'll take you. And you. And you. So if you've ever wanted to start a frog collection, this game's for you. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's get rid of one quest here. Yeah, so we, we finished up the quest where we went to West Virginia Lumber last time. Uh, but now we're going to do these. Visit the claim, shelter's claim center and f uh, find out what the key unlocks. And yeah, they're both in this part of the map. And aren't they? I thought the claim center was around here too. So... Let's make sure. Oh yeah, they are. Maybe maybe the key unlocks the claim center. Well, we never know unless we open it. Uh, let's make our way down to the road again. Oh, we're going the wrong way. Okay, so we're going to make our way up this road. And then a left. A left. So I did my first uh, live YouTube stream uh, the other night. Went pretty well. Uh, yeah, so thank you to everybody who hung out for that. I know a few people did. Uh, and they mostly heard about it, or heard about this channel from uh, from my reaction videos that I did in the past. And of course, I'm still doing those. And uh, I want to do a, a, a Dark Souls 2 Let's Play on PS3 uh, on YouTube kind of the same way I'm doing this because I'm I'm missing the platinum trophy for that game on my PS3 uh, and I'm only missing two trophies besides the platinum and that's uh, collect all pyromancies and collect all miracles uh, otherwise I'd have that trophy like I have the platinum trophy for Dark Souls one on PS3 and then remastered on PS4, Scholar of the First Sin, PS4, Dark Souls 3, PS4, and Bloodborne on PS4. Still working on beating Sekiro for the first time, so that's that's gonna be a while, but I eventually do want to get that once I once I get good. Oh, there's a vault up there. Looks like we'll uh Take a dip into the mountains here. And we're very close to level 18. It's like... It's like we're turning 18 tomorrow and we're at the bar tonight. Trying to convince us to let us in. Convince the, the doorman to let us in. Oh, come back tomorrow. Uh, no, I wanted my pistol. So I think once I level up a bit and kind of establish my character a bit more, my build a bit more, uh, I'm going to limit myself to maybe 
two or three firearms and a melee weapon. Just for efficiency of of uh, loadout and carry weight and all that stuff. So it'll probably be a sniper rifle, uh, an automatic rifle, combat rifle, and uh, a melee weapon. And maybe a pistol. Uh, yeah, but the pistol would be s secondary. Is that a coffin? It's a weirdly shaped coffin for a weirdly shaped person. Rest in peace, weirdly shaped person. Too bad those aren't actual words. <laughs> Find out what the key unlocks. Vault 51. There you go. Can we go in here? The front is barred up. Your new home, shelters. Uh, it's the home of the future. Visit the shelters claim center today. Isn't there a rapper called Future? Maybe he's in here. Let's go see. Let's see you inside. All right, we are inside Vault 51. Home expansion. Welcome to the Shelters Claim Center. Claim your shelter now to expand your home. My home is non-existent right now. I just have a bunch of, like, workbenches set up. Hello, Mr. Clark? Oh, a visitor. Oh, I thought this day would never come. I haven't had a visitor in ages. Welcome to the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center, visitor. I'm called Mr. Clark. It's my job to help eager new customers such as yourself Take your first step into the miraculous world of shelters. Oh, cursory analysis suggests you are likely here to... <laughs> Goodness, <laughs> forgive my tone. I'm experiencing some memory issues. <clears throat> As I was saying, a bright-eyed visitor like yourself must be here to claim your free shelter today. Is that right? You had me at free. Um... Well, I have a few questions first, actually. Naturally. Not to worry, visitor. I'm equipped to answer most basic questions for my customers. How can I help you today? You said you're experiencing memory issues? Yes, unfortunately so. My network was recently used to... <laughs> ah, it seems I can't exactly remember what caused it. <laughs> but rest assured, Canon. <laughs> visitor? Memory issues notwithstanding, Candidate. I'm eager to help usher you into the world of shelters. Candidate for what? Candidate for an experiment or, or overseer? What are you doing here? I was programmed to distribute shelters from this claim center, and I intend to do just that. I've been waiting for a customer like yourself for ages. The apocalypse did put a bit of a damper on my sales projections. But with your arrival, it seems my troubles are over. Your troubles are rover? Uh, do you know anything about the vault inside? That's Vault 51. I don't know much about it, I'm afraid. The vault was sealed along with the others in Appalachia. But only one person ever emerged. His name was Mr. Gill. He lived here for a while, observing Vault 51. Something inside interested him. I believe he was investigating... <laughs> I'm uh -oh. sorry. Most of my memories regarding Vault 51 are corrupted. I think Mr. Gill kept notes on the claim center terminal, if you'd like to know more. Uh, other people have been here? A few over the years. Two of the scientists who were working on the shelters project before the war used this claim center to hide from the bombs. They left. 
in such of greener pastures once the blasts were over, and I never saw them again. The claim center was empty for a long time after that. Uh, Mr. Gill is the only other person who's ever been inside, aside from yourself, of course. <sighs> ah, such a shame. So much good marketing gone to waste. Uh, I realized I had another uh, audio source open here in OBS Studio. Um, and it sounded like it was capturing the dialogue of the NPC here. So if, if, it, if it was louder than usual or if there was a slight echo, I apologize for that. But I turned it off now. So it's just the game and my mic. Uh, that's all I need to know about this. Then on to more pleasant business, visitor. Are you interested in registering as a shelter owner and claiming your free shelter today? Of course. Yes. Splendid! Oh, before I can distribute your shelter to you, you'll need to register as a shelter owner. The terminal in the back will guide you through it. Once you've finished registering, return to me, and I'll distribute your free shelter to you. Okay. That's a cool sleeping bag. Let's turn that off. Uh, let's take the... Oh, we can take them. Interesting. Or can we? Unlocked with Ruben's safe key. We found out what the key unlocks. It's this safe, Mr. Gill's safe. So we've got some passwords. Stim pack diluted. Combat knife. Nice. Terminal. Helen. Okay. Can we take that? That's cool. Do we still have that quest to find out what the key unlocks? No. Okay. So now we're on the quest home expansion. Shelter's Claim Center Terminal. Let's see what's on here. Welcome to the Claim Center Terminal Hub. Select an option below to proceed. Uh, let's check out Ruben's notes first. Log entry one. Well, here I am. I've only been out of that damn vault a week, and I'm already back at its front door. It gives me the creeps knowing it's right there, but if I'm going to get back in, it'll pay off to have a base this close. I thought this was kind of uh, some kind of vault tech control center for watching us in 51. Joke's on me, I guess. It's some kind of dumb real estate project with the world's most annoying marketing bot running it. Just my luck to get stuck with another stupid robot. Now that this terminal is working again, I guess I'm out of excuses to put off trying to reach the 51 network. Here goes nothing. Hmm. Log entry 2. Turns out the 51 network's protected with a crazy firewall that I can't get past. I guess that's probably to be expected. Still, I think going through the network is my best shot at getting back in. I know from experience that there's no way out through the walls. Hmm. So like Vault uh, 101. Nobody ever enters, and no one ever leaves. Also like Hotel California. Uh, well, I guess people enter Hotel California, just they, they never leave. All I can do is keep trying. I think the marketing bots might be helpful. Maybe I can use its internal network to contact 51. I gotta get this done quick, then move the hell on. I'm having trouble sleeping knowing that 51's right outside. It makes me think too much. So something's in 51, some some information or loot of some kind, some item. I sat outside and watched uh, Vault 51 for a long time today. Hours, I guess. Time doesn't mean much these days. It looks surprisingly peaceful from out here. Almost beautiful. So that that infers that it's it's horrific inside. All my hacking attempts have been unsuccessful so far. The 51 network's locked up tight. It makes me wonder if any of the messages we sent from inside ever actually made it out. I finally gathered enough supplies that I can start doing real work on the terminal. Mr. Clark got all up in arms about me tampering with a confidential network, but he can't stop me. I just want to end this. Number four. Well, it worked. I got into the 51 network a few days ago. I wish I felt relieved, but the message I got back made me nervous. It wasn't all automated. Automated. I haven't slept since. Whoa. 
There's someone inside the vault. Mr. Clark has been complaining of memory issues since I got that message from him from the 51 network. His speech patterns keep changing, too. I thought it was just his hardware starting to go, but then he called me Mr. Candidate instead of Mr. Gill. Yeah, he called me Mr. Candidate or Candidat. I feel like Zax is in here with me. ZAX, what's that? What's Zax? It's like 51 all over again. Maybe this whole thing was a mistake. I need a damn drink. The houses near here are picked clean, but maybe I can find something in one of the towns. I need more building supplies anyway. I could just use a couple of turrets in here or something, just in case. It's an excuse to get out of uh, 51's shadow, if nothing else. Okay. Uh, Shelter's Information Hub. Welcome to the Shelter's Information Hub. Select an option below to learn more. Basic information. Welcome to the world of shelters, the homes of the future. Shelters are expansions for your camp that come ready to be customized. They are the perfect sanctuary for indus industrious architects and those who want a little peace and quiet from the dangers of Appalachia. Whether you're interested in building gravity-defying structures with our relaxed workshop restrictions, decorating your new home with the finest furniture Appalachia has to offer, or rigging up ma uh, maniacal mazes full of traps to stave off home invaders, Shelters has something for you. That'd be fun, building like a hedge maze. Not with traps though, just a, a, a typical hedge maze, like the one in The Shining. Uh, without a, a murderous, axe-wielding maniac trying to chop your head off. Uh, building in shelters. Building in shelters will feel a bit different than building in Appalachia. In order to give our customers total control over their shelters, we've chosen to alter some workshop restrictions. You can take advantage of relaxed snapping and support restrictions to build mind-bending structures or discard gravity altogether and place items in mid-air, like a basketball, perpetually floating, ready for anybody who wants it. For those seeking a more traditional building experience, snapping rules can be enabled at any time in the workshop. So it makes me think it's like um, like a god mode type of room, almost. Like, almost god mode. Uh, please note that some categories like food, water, allies, and resources are currently unavailable in shelters. Yeah, so it's like a testing ground, almost. Shelter entrances. When you register as a shelter owner, you'll receive your first shelter entrance. It can be placed in your camp and, and used to access your new home. Each shelter you come uh, your own, you own comes with an entrance. Let's read that again. Each shelter you own comes with an entrance. You can place multiple entrances to any of your shelters. Shelter entrances can be placed in your Appalachian camp or inside of other shelters to create a daisy chain effect. So you can put shelters inside shelters. Shelterception. You can lock your shelter entrances for privacy while building, or leave them unlocked for visitors. Please note that locked shelter entrances can be picked. Mm. The Shelter Claim Center accepts no responsibility for the theft of personal belongings. Oh, the sneaky bastards. Socializing in shelters. We at the Shelter's Claim Center understand your desire to entertain in a new home. Shelters have no maximum occupancy limit. Invite as many friends and neighbors as you'd like to pop in for a visit. They can even stop by. They can even stop by while you're out for a stroll in Appalachia. So long as you have a shelter entrance in your camp, visitors can enter it and explore. Shelters fully support team building, so you can collaborate with your teammates to construct the underground hideaway of your dreams. Dweller on Dweller Violence. That's D O D D O D Violence. You can engage in combat with other dwellers while inside a shelter. If you attack someone inside a shelter and then return to Appalachia, you will retain your hostile status. The reverse is also true. If you attack someone in Appalachia and then retreat into a shelter, your hostile status will remain. In the unlikely event that you are killed inside a shelter, your belongings will be returned to you. Disclaimer: The shelter's claim center is, uh, accepts no responsibility for damages to property or personal injuries incurred while inside a shelter. Find your friends. 
We believe that teamwork is the key to success in Appalachia. We've made it easy to locate your teammates. Shelters. We've made it easy to locate your teammates' shelters, so you'll always know where to find them. Simply open your map, and if your teammates have unlocked shelter entrances in their camp, they'll be visible to you. If you wish to join a teammate in their shelter, you'll need to travel to their camp first, then access their shelter via its entrance. And exiting a shelter. We're sorry to see you go, but if you have business to attend to in Appalachia, you can use your shelter's built-in exit to return to the surface. If you get stuck inside your shelter or another dwellers, you can always exit using your map. Travel expenses incurred will be identical to the amount you'd pay to travel from the camp you started into your intended destination in Appalachia. Okay, so it still costs caps to travel. Uh, shelter owner registration system. Registering your owner. That's me. Thank you for registering as a shelter owner. Your registration is now confirmed. And there's one more here. We've got to read communications logs. Regarding network interference detected December 7th, 2102. Or is it July 12th, 2102? Uh, Vault 51 internal networks unavailable. Do not have appropriate clearance to reach this network. I've detected human activity on this network. Greetings, new overseer candidate. Please proceed to Vault 51 to begin the overseer selection process. Yeah. Candidate for overseer. Uh, regarding test two. Same day. Can you hear me now? What? Network unreachable. October 30th. 2102. We do not have the clearance. Test one. Can you hear me in there? What? Who said that? <laughs> Moving on. December 1st, 2077. Whoa, so this is like 125 years after. Test one. No, sorry, just just twenty five years. Hmm. We can't stay here. It's getting bitterly cold, and we've been having bad luck finding food. This will be my last message on the Claim Center network. If you see this, come find us. Our names are Jameson Grillo and Aaron Brady or Brady. We're going to follow the Pot uh, Potomac South, hopefully towards a warmer climate. I feel bad about leaving Mr. Clark, but he refuses to des uh, desert his post. I hope the poor guy won't turn into rust waiting for customers who aren't coming. See you out there, Jameson. <laughs> Visit your shelter's claim center today. Trying again. November 13th, 2077. So that's the year of the Great War, the years the bombs dropped. Our bot says the network's still operational, but it's been radio silent since last month. Appalachia is toast. We haven't seen any signs of life in weeks. I'm not sure how much longer we can hang on here. We tried to find a way into Vault 51, but it's locked up tight. Even its communications network is inaccessible from outside. I still haven't heard from my family. At this point, I guess it's pretty obvious why not. If anyone is out there, I hope you've had better luck, Jameson. Anyone out there? October 26th, 2077, so just uh, three days after the war. I think the war was on the 23rd, wasn't it? Is anyone out there? Anyone left on the network? This is Jameson at the Appalachian Claim Center. Something crazy happened here, some kind of attack. I can't get in touch with my family or any of the office landlines. Please tell me someone's out there to get this. Me and another engineer are down here with their Claim Center's bot. We're going to stay inside as, uh, as long as we can, at least until the phones are up and running again. Hopefully this will all blow over soon. Yeah, I don't think it will. Sales pitch. Jameson. Now that the system's functional, we need to iron out our sales pitch. Marketing likes shelters, the home of the future. We're having posters made to advertise. Make sure Her uh, Harold's bot learns the phrase too, since it'll be interacting with customers. A couple of the guys from management will be making the trek out there to see the claim center soon. Just hang tight for now and make sure the bot's keeping the place clean. Talk soon, Sawyer. 
Uh, I think we read the name Sawyer somewhere before. That sounds very familiar. Uh, before we talk to Mr. Clark here... Hey, look, it's Mr. Clark. <laughs> uh, yeah, that doesn't seem like there's another entrance. Like, it, there doesn't seem to be a way into the vault from here. Like, it's just a, a room. Boil toilet water? Yes, please. What's that? That's unpick upable. Uh, let's make some chems if we can. While we're here? Nope, we cannot make anything. Actually, no. Is it worth it to make uh, like diluted radix and stim packs and stuff like that, or is it worth it just to keep what we have for better uh, efficiency? Yeah, let's talk to the robot. It looks like you've successfully registered as a shelter owner. Congratulations, visitor. A marvelous new world of home expansion awaits. I'll distribute your free shelter to you, along with some materials to build your shelter's entrance, as a personal thank you for being my customer. Before we part ways, visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, tell me more about the free shelter. Certainly. Your free shelter is a complimentary expansion for your home, modeled after the very claim center we're standing in. It comes equipped with workshop functionality, so you can get started building and decorating right away. Simply place the shelter entrance you claim today in your camp and prepare to enter a bright new world of home expansion and customization. Before we do that, I want to set up my actual camp first in a permanent spot. Uh, tell me more about shelters. If we've heard this before, I'll just exit out of it. Gladly. <clears throat> shelters are the homes of the future. Perfect for post-apocalyptic living. Each shelter is a unique interior, ready to be decorated. All shelters come equipped with workshop functionality to allow you to create the home of your dreams and escape from the dangers of Appalachia. Shelters are accessible via entrances, like the one I just distributed to you. Simply place the entrance in your camp and step into your new home. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope, that's it. Then allow me to extend a warm Shelters Claim Center farewell to you, along with my thanks for being my first customer. Enjoy your new home, visitor. Nice. So we should level up now, I think, if we got some XP. Ah, oh, still not enough to level up. Okay, I kind of want to go back to camp and uh, try this out. And also, I want to see if there's any other quests in this part of the map. So I'm going to activate all the quests we have. And I know there's still an uh, yeah, it's an event at that teacup type restaurant uh, near AVR that we visited a few episodes ago. Like way down here. Um... Yeah, that's it. The giant teapot. So I, I want to do that eventually, too. Well, I guess we're close to here. Okay, so we can head here from here instead of uh, from, like, Morgantown or Grafton. Okay, yeah, let's head back to camp, and I'll uh, place that shelter, and we will exit out of these quests. Let's just see where this is. Investigate this suspicious person. Looks like a lighthouse. Oh, it's really uh, close to Vault 76. Okay. Alright. 
I will see you back at my camp. All right, we're back at my camp. Uh, we might even get ambushed again by those wardens from from the jail. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, my camp is just very basic. I just have the, the bare essentials right now. Just my crafting. It's all set up haphazardly. Uh, no real thought in, put into it because I haven't found a permanent place yet that I like. Let's grab the level 1 knife. Uh, okay. So let's put this shelter door down. Or do we have to, like, unlock the plants first? I don't think we do. Yo, we got a plan for a hunting rifle? I didn't even notice that. That'll be handy. Uh, can we make some food first, actually? Maybe some some boiled frog. Nope. Uh, sp speaking of frog, let's stash the junk and the frogs. Oh yeah, we got trail fireworks from uh, a free... Uh, what do you call it? The point system atoms or whatever they're called i forget right now uh let's stash the iron ore too the gunpowder silver ore anything to kind of reduce our weight. Now, where would that frog be? We got 11 wolf ribs, nice. Huh, I don't see the frogs. I remember someone mentioning uh, in like a, a way, way previous episode where the frogs were in my inventory. Hang on, what if we go in? Oh, I thought I thought they were under new. Okay, they're not food and drink. We got three stealth boys, nice. Huh, maybe they hopped off. Okay. Uh let's see about this shelter entrance. So where is that? Under what category? Miscellaneous shelters. Here we go. Cannot place item. Need support. I guess it needs to be on the ground. Okay. Uh, let's put it right by this tree for now. Yeah. Once I find uh, my ideal camp spot, and I have a spot in mind based on uh, a video I saw on YouTube. I just looked up like best camp spots. Uh, then I'll take some time to, like, build up my camp a bit more. Uh, yeah, I want to see what this looks like inside. I'll see you inside the shelter. You have disabled pacifist mode. 
PvP interactions and PvP-related death may now occur inside shelters. Hmm. Well, okay. See you inside. All right, we are inside the shelter. And yeah, it looks like exactly like the other shelter we were in. Except there's nothing in it. Man, there's so much room for activities, though. We could play basketball. We could set up a show. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to set up like a a bar uh, slash rock and roll venue. That'd be sweet. The, the stage would be right here. Yeah, man, I want to do it. Eventually. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I think I'll wrap up uh, the episode here. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, criticism, uh Spoiler the free tips and tricks like gameplay tips hints uh recommendations anything please let me know in the comments below uh yeah thank you for watching we will see you next time in part 28